Well, it is a strange story, that's for sure, Alex and Christine. It happened in this parking lot here in Palmdale about 6 o'clock last night. As you mentioned, a woman sleeping in her lifted 4x4 excursion, which is a large SUV, when she was awakened by the sound of that saw underneath. Startled, she wasn't quite sure what happened. So she started the vehicle, backed up over a man who had apparently crawled underneath to cut that valuable catalytic converter off. She called for help. Witnesses called for help. By the time the paramedics arrived and tried to save his life, it was too late. He was pronounced dead at a local hospital. The sheriff's department explains in more detail what happened. The suspect went underneath the 4x4 and started sawing away at the catalytic converter. Uh, the victim put the vehicle in, in uh, turn the vehicle on, put it in reverse, heard a thump, and stopped the vehicle where you see it now, and then saw that there was a suspect underneath the car had been had been run over by her car. At this point, they're saying it's an accident. Catalytic converter thefts, of course, a common problem. California leads the nation. Some tips from law enforcement, among them park uh, indoors if you can, if not a well-lighted area. Um, also, they say that you can have your license plate or VIN engraved on the catalytic converter to perhaps discourage uh, unscrupulous buyers, help track it down. There are a number of tips available. Um, in addition to this uh, man who was actually killed, there were three others with him, the sheriff's department say, all part of this ring of catalytic converter thieves. Uh, they are taken into custody. Again, very unusual, not clear if the person thought that the vehicle was empty, but we're in a busy parking lot at 6 o'clock at night, not in the middle of the night uh, on a street somewhere. Live in Palmdale, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. So, Alex Christine. So then, Phil, that means no charges for her? Well, we're not saying that definitively, but at this point, um, they're calling it an accident. But again, the names of those in, uh, involved have not yet been released, and they're not making any definitive conclusions at this point.